who's going to explain how to do, progress on to doing a bar muscle up. It's a question I got from um, somebody who follows my site, so I said I'd do a video on it and I've been meaning to do this for a while. So um, if you're wanting to work on getting bar muscle up, um, it is helpful if you use kind of some basic gloves because the bars, if they're metal bars like these ones here, will tend to kind of cut into your hands and there's a lot of friction because you put your hands, it's a bit like doing kettlebell swings or snatches, but there's a lot of turning over. So you can chalk up um, is also helpful. Um, these are just a simple pair of kind of gardening type gloves I got called um, Maxi Flex gardening gloves. They're probably about five euros. Um, and uh, you can just throw them out when they kind of wear down and be pretty cheap um, as compared to some of the more expensive ones you might see out there. Um, first thing you'll need to have is to be able to do just normal push-ups or dips uh, for the top part of the muscle up. And the second thing is obviously being able to do a pull-up first. So um, you have to hold in hell and get into bar muscle ups unless you can do both of those movements first. Um, so uh, get to the point where you can do like, you know, 8 to 10 reps on a regular uh, pull-up and, and dip. Um, and strict and then um, what you need to do is start to work a bit more on what's called your kit. So your basic kit, um, you're just going to start to use your core to open and close your shoulders and your hips um, by swinging forwards and back. So I'm going to start in that motion to try and develop the kipping habit of being able to use your hips to um, propel yourself and up over the bar. So once you kind of get the motion right and you start to pull at the right time, which is that point, that point, that point, you'll be able to start to use your hips a little bit more to get yourself up. Um, to build up to a bar muscle up, you need to be able to, first to be able to do what's called a chest to bar pull up, which looks as follows. So if I just do three, it's going to be one, two, three. So once you get to a point where you can do a chest to bar pull up, all you need to do after that is um, kip a little harder and think about bringing your hips to the bar as opposed to just my chest to the bar. Once I get my chips, hit hips or chest to the bar as I get that pulling action, I just turn myself over the top to get over into what we call a bar muscle. Once I'm in that top position, I'm just going to pause there for a second and I'm going to allow my legs to get out in front of me on the way down so I can use the legs a little bit more to get into my next rep. Um, I can obviously do those in a lot more of a strict style as I get better at them, um, but for most people to start off, they're going to have to use their hips an awful lot to get in position. I don't recommend once they get that turnover to kind of get in one arm and then try and wiggle in on the other arm, as I think to find that people will just develop bad habits and possibly um, overuse one shoulder and, and, and maybe develop some problems with that shoulder if they're constantly kind of getting in on one side and then the other. Um, so, just think about when you're making that pull, be as aggressive as possible using the hips. Think about bringing the hips towards the bar. Um, so I'll just do a couple of those first so you can see what that looks like. So I'm thinking about bringing the hips up. Hips up to the bar. So you can see that I'm trying to get in almost that parallel position with my body to the ground. In order to get in that position, I need to stay tight in my abs. So that's where doing things like hollow rocks can really help. So I'll Google that or YouTube it um, if you're unsure as to what those look like. And it's basically being able to hold your midline tight as I get my legs out in front of me. Um, again, as I said, once I start to get my hips and chest up towards my bar, aiming for the hips, it's just a matter of turning it over. So if I just do three in a row, it'll look as follows. So again, and get your hip going first. Turn over at the top, maybe pause. I'm going to let my legs get out in front, come back down, into rep two, come back down, and into rep three. Once I get those into um, get into the swing of things, it's a little bit easier to kind of hit every rep once I feel the motion on the way back down. So just the things to work on are obviously your normal dips on parallel bars or rings. Um, your normal pulps and weighted pulps as well, and then getting your kip right so you can start to work on that chest to bar. Once you're in that position, you start to think about getting your hips up towards bar, so in that position, and then I just need to pull hard enough that I can allow for that turnover at the top. If you've got really bad shoulder mobility, um, then this is going to be an issue because just turning it over enough is going to be hard, so you need to work on that as well, again to foam rolling your lats and your chest 
uh, especially if you come from a background where you've been doing a lot of bench pressing, then you're always going to be slightly internally rotated. So working on that would really help. And then stretching out your chest using bands can also help enormously. So give all those things a try. And the good standard for a lot of people to aim for once they're able to do it is, um, you know, 10, 10 bar muscles is, good, is a good standard once you can start, you know, stringing them together. But obviously just getting your first one is a big accomplishment for a lot of people. And it's a great display of um, athletic talent, so it's a good way to use your strength and your fitness for something. So give it a go. You will need a straight bar that's very, very sturdy. A lot of outdoor parks tend to have them now. Simple gloves can help, but also you will get in any kind of DIY type shop. Um, they're fairly thin, and uh, give it a go. I hope that was a help to you. Thank you.